Diabetes in Indian patients is very aggressive. This is because of the fact that diabetes develops at a much lower BMI and at a decade earlier compared to the Western counterparts. Also, Indian patients with diabetes have greater evidences of insulin resistance, whether it is physically or biochemically. There is a greater progression of pre-diabetes to diabetes among Indians and also a greater risk of macrovascular complications like atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. I think phenotypic characters are very important de determining factors for the link between obesity and diabetes. Phenotypic factors are de determined by epigenetic factors which are inheritable but not due to DNA sequence alterations in the nucleotide sequence of the DNA. So populations that have a high risk of diabetes have lower muscle mass and have a greater adipose tissue mass. They also have the adipose tissue or fat in unfavorable locations like the visceral site or abdominal site. These epigenetic factors are also responsible for the decrease in the beta cell volume, low nephron mass and increased pro-inflammatory cytokines that, uh, that actually results not only in the development of diabetes but also the diabetes complications. So adipose tissue has recently been understood to be a very important organ in weight management, uh, in the homeostasis of body weight. So we can consider it as a peripheral homeostate for the maintenance of body weight. And dysfunction of the adipose tissue is the linking factor between obesity and type 2 diabetes. The different functions of the adipose tissues are now understood and there are various pharmacotherapeutic agents that are in different stages of development. So we could be targeting the adipokines, which is the levels of which are altered in obesity. We could be targeting browning of the adipose tissue that actually increases the energy expenditure or there are so many others in the pipeline. I think the most important thing is the individualization of approach. So we need to take into account, so the question is about obese patients, so we would not take agents that would get, cause weight gain. Uh, we need to take into account the risk of the individual regarding hypoglycemia, the duration of the diabetes, the affordability, who's actually paying for the treatment, are the payers or is it self-finance, and also the presence of other comorbidities. The comorbidities could be atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, it could be heart failure, it could be chronic kidney disease. So what is the influence of these drugs in the progression of this disease and also are they safe in these conditions? So there are, a multiple, there are multiple factors there are that needed to be seen. I'm looking forward to a lot of things, a lot of exciting developments in the field of diabetes. Obviously the great lectures, the plenary lectures I will look forward to. Also the EAST symposiums on uh, type 2 uh, inflammation in diabetes, on islets, on diabetes in the young and I see a lot of interesting posters and uh, oral presentations regarding technology, diabetes in young, metabolism. So I'm really looking forward to these few exciting uh, fields in the field of diabetes. Thank you so much.